Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day. Today is Tuesday the 7th and today was a lovely beautiful day outside. Got up this morning a little earlier than I really wanted to but it is what it is. Um, didn't have any dogs here today. It felt really weird not having dogs here. Just my own dog and everything was good there. So went ahead and got this weirdo right here beside me who's stopped next to me blocking traffic and went up a ways stopped again backed up some and then blocking traffic then drove ahead stopped again now he's backing all the way down the damn street like i don't know if he's messed out kind of looks a little messy but definitely looks a little less than sane let's put it that way but yeah um went ahead got the dog taken care of got outside jumped in the hot tub like i do got that all done um got a couple things in the house taken care of had a call to a lawyer to talk to him about my father-in-law's estate and how we can handle the selling of the house and all that kind of stuff and how we can manage his money to help basically I guess protect his money is the biggest thing so we're trying to figure out we're giving him our house as a place to live and trying to figure out where to pay charge rent or do like a life estate on it or how we're doing it so because I don't want to just give him a house for free like that seems a little weird but at the same time it feels weird to charge i don't know open market and all that whole thing so we're trying to figure out casey does have to go into like medicaid medicare assisted living especially if he gets to the point where he's needing like memory care it's like 10 grand a month and he's out of money like in a year you know so definitely want to be able to protect the assets and make sure we hide all the um cross all the t's dot all the i's um, all that good fun stuff there so yeah we got to figure it out how it's going to go about how it gets broke down so yeah, that's our plan. Um, spoke to him. He gave me some ideas. Um, none of it sounded spectacular, but it gives me some ideas to go. I've got an appointment tomorrow as well to go see an attorney, sit down in an office and talk to them in person. And I figure more than one opinion is always better because they might have some different ideas that we don't know about. And I also got to reach out to my CPA, talk to him, get some ideas for taxes and liabilities and all that kind of stuff. And here in Florida, up to $250,000 in profit of the house which would be minus the cost to purchase and minus all repairs done upon the house. We're good to go. And between the purchase price and the selling price, there's not a $250,000 gap. So we want to figure in for the new roof and all the work done to the house. We want to keep track of all that stuff. So it's basically he's able to avoid taxes on it, which is nice. And then he's got to figure out where we're going from it. So yeah, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So I got a couple of those things done though, got the call done. Um, had a meet and greet scheduled, got the meet and greet taken care of. That went well. Um, hung outside for the day, ended up running over to the store. Um, basically, I was out. So I thought, well, I'm gonna be out anyway, I might as well do a little running. Run up to um, Ormond. Had to pick up our escrow check from the title company for the house that we were purchasing. We decided not to purchase. So I ran up there, picked it up in Daytona. I think it's Daytona. From there, I headed on up to Richard's house finished grabbing the last little bit of things out of there that didn't fit in the last loads got that taken care of hit the house with some air fresheners so it still smells like cat piss and that's always fun so got that taken care of there went that idiot flying by like a moron like almost barely got stopped at the stop sign good lord man driving like a complete idiot and just almost hit a goddamn car this idiot right here fucking hell man legitimately stopped the stop sign barely and then punched it and almost hit this little black convertible right there that holy crap you guys out of his damn mind but and then people wonder why i get concerned when i'm not here running or walking on the streets and definitely i'm not here riding a motorcycle it's just terrifying you get morons like this that apparently don't have brains to pour piss out of boot with instructions written on the on the heel so it is what it is there but yeah definitely crazy people so i went ahead and got the tech picked up went and got to the house got the rest of the stuff out of the house i think that was my last trip up there um, closing is Friday. I was going to go back up for it, but um, got an appointment with my mom, take her to the doctor's, won't be able to go. Plus, I have dogs Friday, so probably won't be able to go anyway. I'll be staying home with the dogs and all that good fun stuff. So, depending on which dogs are here and how they get along, might leave them with mom if we, I don't know, just we'll see. So, thought about having her change her doctor's appointment, but it can be, you know, really screw up stuff. So, I don't need to be at the closing. All it is basically, my wife's walking in and signs some papers and then their wire transference money and then she heads home so it was more just there to help celebrate slash you know basically moral support it's not like there's anything that has to be done we've already got all the paperwork we know what it is so 
got that taken care of. Um, had a lady bring a dog over for a meet and greet. I'd watched her Doberman before, but she got a new puppy at six months old. And the older Doberman is super easy, great dog. Uh, the new puppy is a puppy and it's hyper. It's crazy, but it's learning, it's getting better. Uh, she said it's learning quite a bit. She's a real friendly lady. We talked for like an hour, she hung out there. She was there early enough, then my wife showed up, got home from work, she was still there. So we all three chatted for a while and the puppy was there playing with Bruce and Bruce got annoyed by the puppy a couple times and kind of gave him a little bit of a, you know, didn't knock it off. The lady's like, good, that's what the dog needs, that pup needs that because her Doberman, her old one, doesn't put her in place. And she's kind of hoping that Bruce will help teach the dog how to behave a little better around other dogs. So that should be good. We got that all taken care of. She headed out. Uh, my mom finished cooking up the potatoes, got that taken care of. And basically um, from there, had herself some uh, beef and noodles. So we end up with, oh, that house sucks. Holy crap, that sucks. But oh well. But yeah. Really? You're just gonna not worry about the person walking here or nothing? Oh, fucking idiot. Wow, you got these people here who don't realize the pedestrians have the right of ways they're walking down the street. Wow, must be this. We got a tornado warning. And I'm gonna treat it like a full moon. Everybody out here is nutty as shit. So, but yeah, that house right there went for sale, which it's a nice looking place. But it can't look like a pool in the back, which I don't want, but my wife does. So, we'll see. There's room in the house we're buying to put a pool in but it's so much nicer being across the street from my father-in-law they'll take care of him i'm gonna stick with my house i've got so but yeah um we had beef and noodles on top of potatoes worked out well from there um headed back outside have myself a nice little cigar and basically wrapped it up from there just chilling out have myself a good time and that's all i got for now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching